When the whole Ultimate World Triathlon was kind of coming together, I wanted it to start a conversation and gender equality came very naturally to me because of the time I've spent with Caroline. Getting higher and higher. Caroline's a professional ski mountaineer and I just saw that she didn't always get the same respect off the bat. People would typically approach me because I'm 6'1 and I'm male and people thought I was like guiding her, but it was usually the opposite. Somebody could look at my project and say, this isn't about gender equality, it's about another white male getting all the eyes on him. A lot of men in particular are struggling to find a way to talk about these issues and they want to be supportive and they want to be advocates. They want to support women's leadership but they're not quite sure how to do it. I definitely did struggle being like the more cliche feminine role of supporting him while he got to go off on this big adventure. But 95% of our relationship, the roles have been reversed. Looks like he's covered almost 11 miles. He's been my support and my encouragement. So it was really cool for him to set this huge goal and to have the courage, the bravery to see it through. The most challenging part of Everest is just knowing that everything's not necessarily in your hands. Your goal is just one foot in front of the other. That little storm coming through. Seems like it's maybe knocking off right now. You're gonna do great. I'd never done a swim over six hours, and I knew this would take double that or potentially more. I put on about 30 pounds in 30 days after Everest because I had such a short window. Basically, I was trying to keep my core warm enough that I would just eat when I wasn't full. Pizza and as many carbs before bed. Sweet mother, merciful God. That's a long way. The worst part of every day was always getting up. I would usually try to start riding at sunrise because it was so hot during the day. Getting out of bed at 5.30 after you've ridden 100 miles for like a week straight is the hardest thing I've ever done. All right, it took me 22 days, but here I am, crossing the Mississippi River in the Twin Cities. This seems like a fight that women have to fight, but men should have that same responsibility to ask for a level playing field. And so I want men out there to stand up for not only the women in their lives, but just women in general and the advocates for them. Adventure riding today. Woo! We know a hashtag isn't going to change the world. And Rob doing his try for equality, it's not a direct way that he's empowering women's lives. However, if we can change a few hearts and minds, then we've won. My name is Rob Lee, and I just completed my ultimate world triathlon.